Welcome to all my referee family around the world, those who call the Bay Area their home. A special shout out to my fellow TMOBA members. I see you all out there putting in that work, going hard in the stripes. You know who it is. It's your boy, Mr. Smooth. And today I'm going to drop some more knowledge on you. I'm going to put some jewels on your officiating mind and do what I can to make you elite at the craft of officiating. So again, this topic, we're going to talk about coaches' conflict. This is going to be a three-part video of basically three clips. This will be the first clip. So I like to say I saw a lot of great things this past weekend. You know, the players played hard. They played with good sportsmanship. But I also saw some bad and ugly. But before I get into the bad and ugly, the first thing I want to do, because as officials, we don't do this enough. But I'm going to do it right now. I saw a lot of coaches act in a prof professional manner. So I want to shout out those coaches who make our job easier by demonstrating and teaching their players the power of good sportsmanship. I don't think the coaches understand how important sportsmanship is when, when officials can focus on calling fouls and out of bounds and we don't have to worry about dealing with unsporting behavior, tactics, kids playing dirty. We can really focus in our job and call the fouls correctly instead of trying to watch, let's say, a kid in the post who's always trying to sneak in that extra app, who's trying to sneak in that extra elbow or was grabbing somebody's jersey or was being a pest and trying to bully somebody on the court. It makes our job real easier. But with that said, of course, I saw some coaches and fans who were always misbehaving. Again, that's what AAU is. Like they, like, like some say, AAU stands for Adult Acting Ugly. So in this particular clip, we have coaches who are very animated. They're not acting ugly, but they're very animated and very demonstrative in how they coach. So in this particular play, we're going to have a free throw. Then we have an inbound. Then we're going to have a kid. He's going to collide with another player from a different team. He's going to be hurt on the play. And the coach is going to come out onto the floor, but he doesn't really check on the player as he's talking to the referees about if a foul should have been called. So we're going to see how our officials handle the situation. So let's go ahead and roll the video. So the player who's going to get hurt will be this player right here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to watch him to keep an eye on him. And also we're going to have a quick pass from the backcourt to the front court that goes out of bounds. So I want you to pay attention to that as well. So go ahead, JD. Let's go ahead and roll the video. So there you saw the player go down to the ground. Now we're going to have our lead official signal that the ball will be going the other way. So now we're going to focus in on the coach in the white hat who is right here. We're going to focus in on him. So at this point, he's telling the referee that a foul should have been called, but that's why he's hurt. But again, our fellow TMOBA member, he does a great job. A great job of handling the situation. He's calm, he's professional, and he shows class. This is what we want our officials to do on the basketball court. So as you can see, since the coach came out onto the floor to check on his player, that player is now being subbed out of the game. As you can see, it's going to be the other team's ball going the other way. And the coach, since he didn't see who the ball went out on, he's going to be upset at why is the other team getting the ball.
So at that point, our lead official explains to him why the other team is getting the ball, and the game resumes. So as you can see, this is great officiating by our crew. Again, this is your boy, Mr. Smooth, signing off. Peace.